Hi everyone, Jen Dubell here for Jen Dubell Designs and Country Craft Creations. Today I have a walkthrough of my finished album featuring Echo Park's Be Happy um, that is still available at the store. This was a super, super fun album and this paper does not disappoint. I absolutely love it. Um, first I want to go over what I used in addition to the collection. I did have the 12 by 12 single sheets of the paper and I have used all but a few scraps to make this album. This album has a lot of different um, places for photos, lots of different sized photo mats. Um, also I've used some Tuscan Sun uh, in addition to the solids uh, that you can get with this collection. Echo Park makes a solids collection. I did use some Tuscan Sun and as well as black artisan cardstock. The Tuscan Sun is uh, the My Colors cardstock. And I used some baby blue artisan in here as well. I also used um, the Spring Fling Collection Buttons Galore and More. These fun little bee buttons. It's called Busy Bees. And there's a couple places in here that I use some things from my stash. One being uh, this Gemini from Crafter's Companion die set. Um, I don't know if this is still available. It is something from my stash. Um, it is this fun little beehive. It's meant to make a gatefold card, but I um, I think I actually got this with my Gemini, but I never used it and I wanted to try it. So that's what you see here and here. I've just cut that out just for a little bit of a beehive accent. I also have the sticker collection. Um, for this collection and I popped that up on some chipboard here to make my embellishment and I wanted it to stand up. I have a wrapped chipboard element um, that I have on here with some of the papers and one of the cut aparts and then this album is a um, folio so it opens twice and I have two spines that are one and a quarter inch and the album itself is a seven and a half by seven and a half, okay? So you have your quarter inch spines on both sides and it's magnet closure, so no need for ribbon. So I'm just gonna open this up and I'm hoping that my bees are completely dry. Um, I did use tacky glue, but I wanted to get this walk through done. So as I was saying, this opens up. This has three panels and I have made this myself using the lay flat method. And I've also added some pocket pages, as well as a pocket here in the front. Here you see some of those fun stickers. I have a fun little photo mat that I added some of the ephemera uh, from this collection. I also have that. And you can put this either way. Happy days, cute too. Um, and then there's the white paper on there. It's just some white um, cardstock from my stash. Just regular 65 pound. Uh, the magnets are here and here. I did add two uh, because I knew I was going to put a lot in this album. I would almost suggest three, putting one here, here, and here, uh, because mine still has a little bit of a struggle closing because I do have a lot in here. So here you see that fun die used again just on the corner. And I've done a lot of piecing the paper together um, like I did here on the cover. I just like the way that looked. This is a fun little pocket. Um, that I made using one of the um, 4x4 journaling cards. And then I've put another one in here with uh, that I made a photo mat out of. And I do go over this in my um, tutorial how I made that. So then we're going to open it again. And here is where my first added pocket page um, that I added on is. And this is super fun. Now this does not look very big. Seven and a half by seven and a half is not huge. However, there are tons of places I put in here for, for photos. The first one being this little photo mat here. So you can place a photo either landscape or portrait on either side. And I liked that little um, pattern poking out. You can do it on either one. And then there's another one that is the same, has a larger photo mat on the back, and then the smaller one here. So you have this pattern here that kind of peaks. And then we have this pattern that you can slip in either way, and that one kind of peeks out. Super cute. And then this is a pocket page, so of course I've notched that out, and there is another one here again. 
you can portrait or landscape your photos. And I'm going to have this matches the um, four by six journaling card that I used for my cover. This, I'll just fold that. On the back side of the pocket page, I did a double pocket system, which I will go over in my tutorial and show you how I did that. And this just has some super fun little photo mats. I used the journaling cards um, paired with the white and black card stocks to make some fun. Well, if I could open it, that would be helpful. Just to make some fun places for photos. So there's two in that one. This one will do a little bit smaller. The three by four journaling card, a little bit smaller. And then we have a larger one that pulls out and it has a little um, tab on there. I used my We Are Memory Keepers tab punch board to make these. And then this was one of the larger uh, journaling card cut aparts. A little strip of scrap on the back and then, oops, I got something on there. And then we have a larger photo mat on the back. And then there's another little 3 by 4 journaling card with photo mats inside. And these can really go any way um, in, in here. You can put them um, all in one pocket. You can put some in one pocket, some in another. However you want to do it works. So then this is our middle section. We'll go to that pocket next. But I did embellish the spines on the inside to cover those up. Here I have one of the stickers, What's the Buzz? Super cute. And then this is one of the uh, 4 by 4 journaling cards that I put on black paper. And I'm hoping I can get this good in the camera. So when you flip this open, we have a magnet system here. And I just want to make sure that you can actually see this. So this is another 4x4 four four, uh, photo mat that I put on here and then I used one of the border stickers. I had some of it left over um, from using it on that page. So I added that. And then these strips have magnets in them to hold it down. So this is where all of the main places for photos are. Uh, like I said, not a very big album, but there are tons of spaces. So you could put photos here on the doors. I'm going to open these up and we have two sets on the inside of smaller photo mats and I put the ephemera pieces glued just in the middle so that these could be used to tuck your pictures in. A couple of the fun stickers there and then we open this one up and we open this one up and we have photo mats up here. I'm gonna move this into the camera so we have our photo mats there and our photo mats on the bottom. Be Awesome is one of the stickers from the collection and a nice big area for photos. Again, we have that set of photo and that set of photos. Or excuse me, that set of um, a photo mat. So I'm going to fold this over. This is our next pocket page and this one is a top opening pocket. So this one has another fun photo mat with, you can do landscape, you can do portrait, either one. I did one on each on both sides. So here I have another ephemera piece and these are, uh, this is a mirror image of the other, but this one, the pockets, the double pocket system is on the front. Another one of the ephemera pieces. Here we have a fun um, photo mat system. And this one is just for notes on the front. And then you have these two spots for photos once again. And another fun one. This one is a flip up. Two smaller photos can go there. And I will get that back in there eventually. I'm not quite sure why it's sticking on me. On this side, I did a belly band with a slide. And I just popped up one of the ephemera pieces here onto chipboard and put that there on my belly band and then we have this fun two larger photo mats and again photo mats with that fun edging and I'm actually going to put this back in this way and here's another little fun one just one of the little note cards with the photo mat on the back and I just love how that little black and white adds a little pop of color it also makes this a little bit more secure because I made mine a little bit loose and then on this back page here, finally, we have another small pocket. And that small pocket has two uh, photo mats in it. One that is just a four by six, and then one that opens with two inside. 
And what this is doing is holding down a five page waterfall. And the waterfall, what I've done here is added, I even utilized a scrap of the bottom of the paper. So this is where it shows the, the label of the paper, the, the, the collection name and what's on the paper. And I just kind of liked how that looked. So I did that. The back sides of these are all white. And this is the baby blue artisan and then the dark yellow from the solids collection. And you could also put something below if you wanted to. And I am going to do it that way this time. So the back side of the album, if I can get this to close, oh, see, you have to close them a certain way. So those have to be that way, and then you can pick it up and close the magnets. And I need to fix that. So the back side is a mirror image of the front side. And like I said, I go over um, most of the, the album. Um, I do go over how I created the pockets and how to and put them in the book. There is some decorating in my tutorial, but not all of the decorating. Um, I do not show... Um, every single thing that I decorated in here. I like to leave a little to your imagination, but that is the walkthrough of my album. Stay tuned for the tutorial. I hope you enjoy and I hope you get this paper before it's gone because it's absolutely adorable. Have a great day. Bye-bye.